Sunlight blasts through the windows and wakes me up bright and early. I groan as I sit up in bed, rubbing the eyes. Oh, s <laughs> rubbing the sleep from my eyes. Rubbing the rubbing the eyes from my sleep. I actually remove my eyeballs every day when I wake up. It's just a morning routine. Brush my teeth. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Remove my eyeballs. It's fine. I squint at the bed next to me. Zach is nowhere in sight. I guess he's an even earlier riser. You should know this. You've been rooming him for like ever at this point. I, as I, after I'm dressed, the pongo leaps up onto my shoulder. Good morning. He lets out a little yawn. Boy, boy. It's pretty early, huh? Pongo nods and stalks against my neck, closing his eyes. He is like a, a literal dog, because all he does is like get attention and do nothing else. Boy. And eat. And sleep. We already we have a long day of traveling ahead of us. I wonder if everyone is already downstairs. Oh yeah, we're going to the air temple. Right on. Uh, I open the door and step into the hall. As predicted, I find everyone already waiting for me downstairs. Ready to go? No. Wait, oh. <laughs> yeah, I have everything. Great! Then let's get going. We set off towards the floating aisles. With the bright sun in the sky, I barely feel a chill in the air. It seems like Leanne and the rest of the team are feeling much warmer too. Maybe except for Kara, who wishes it was cold again. Maybe this is from the magic of the hot springs warming us from the inside. Either way, I'm not complaining. The walk to the air temple takes a few hours. Lately, I've been getting used to all the other, all the traveling, but why is everything so far away from each other? We made it. I guess this is like the equivalent of like the spirit temple, or it just could be like the actual air temple from Last Airbender. This is actually just like a really, really, like dating sim heavy mix of like the Avatar The Last Airbender, Ocarina of Time, and like a little bit of Harry Potter. That's what it is. That's what it is. This is like an amalgamation of all of that. Uh, plus cute girls. Anime girls. Huh? We did? Yep. Look. I don't see nothing. I glance at where Leanne is pointing and my mouth drops open. There are a hundred floating islands. Wow, I counted. Just then. Uh, I sprawled out across the sky. Hearing Amelia tell me about them was one thing, but actually seeing them in person. I've ellipses. never seen anything like it. Me neither. Even Zack looks impressed. All the aisles of, are of different shapes and sizes, just big enough for maybe a few people to stand on. The wind- oh wow, these are really small. No wonder there are a hundred of them. The wind tosses the glistening grass from side to side. I can make out clusters of different flowers peppering some of the islands, pale purples and fluffy magentas. Just as I expected, the temple should be here. If they're only this big, where? why can't we just see the temple right now? Or are they above me? I don't know how this works. I didn't pay attention. Hold on, let me look again. I guess maybe it is above me. But then how can I see flowers on them? This is fucking awful. Uh, where exactly? I'm confused. It's not awful, I'm just like really confused. Maybe I'm just retarded, it's probably me. Uh, Amelia points above the aisles and up into the clouds. You and Liana will find the air temple at the highest floating aisle. Right on. I like the sound of that. It's a good thing I'm not scared of heights. Knock on something hollow. We'll set up here while you guys go do your thing. Right on. We're gonna go on a date. Good luck. And, you know, we'll be alone. So, Kara, don't make any suspicions, but you'd probably be right. What? Leanna and I nod. Off we go then. Hey, I wish I could be cool, but I'm not. Mm. Leanna and I travel up the slope in silence. After a while, I glance back and feel unease when the rest of our party members are no longer in sight. Why? You're with your girl, boy. You're with your girl. You're going on a date to the air temple. To the air, the air temple. Sorry. English. As we continue to travel upwards, I feel my ears pop. Just how high up are we? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to measure. Is it above ocean level? Uh, excuse me. We finally reach the pinnacle point of the mountain. There's a mountain? I don't understand this. I need a visual. Whoa. Hardcore. These are not small enough for a few people. This is, this is like, a, like a, you can fit like 10 people on. Maybe like 15. The aisles are closer and look even more impressive. The closest aisles look deceivingly close, but I know that if I tried to jump it without the boosted magic, I'd never make it. A breeze ruffles my hair as I step closer to the edge. I look down and down and down. My chest tightens. That is a very long drop. Don't worry. 
We're not going in that direction. Down? I hope not. And then he gives me a reassuring smile. I feel slightly better, but my stomach is still in knots. I thought you weren't afraid of heights, you dumb bitch. I glance up at the first aisle. How are we going to do this? And he sprints past me and effortlessly, blah, 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 and effortlessly jumps high into the air. She lands gracefully on the platform. Onto the platform. What platform? That one? This one? That one? That one? No matter how many times I've watched Leanna use magic to augment physical skills, it never ceases to amaze me just how badass it is. Your turn. Take a running start and jump. I'll boost you over. How do you know when I'm gonna jump? Do I have to count down here? Ah, oh, fuck. As I look at the most, as I look at the massive gap, in the edge, and the first aisle, my knees become shaky and weak. What if I really do fall, bitch? I trust Leanna. I believe I believed in Leanna so far. No reason for her to doubt to doubt her now. I close my eyes and recompose with myself. This is going to be quite literally a leap of faith. I stand up a few paces paces back and get ready to sprint. Ready? Yep. Here goes nothing. Well, that's actually something, buddy. That's not how the I mean that's how the expression works, but that's not literally doesn't make sense. Amelia would call you out on it. I dash towards the edge and jump with all my strength. I feel a powerful gust of wind lift me high into the air. Whoa. And once in smooth motion, I make it onto the platform with a breeze softening my landing. My heart is racing. Come on, buddy. It's fine. You okay? Come on, buddy. This is, this is nothing. If you fell, you'd be dead. Who cares? That was awesome. Leanna looks surprised and giggles. You ready for the next one? No. What? Yeah, let's do it. We walk across the aisle and position ourselves to jump across the next one. Oh, we should do it holding hands. Oh, that would be All cute. Right. You're going to try this next jump with your own magic channeling. Fuck. My blood runs cold. Ah, I'm fucked. My magic? Leanna nods. I know you can do it. You just have to use the wind like a springboard and you'll fly right over. Oh my god, you're so freaking cute. Ugh! Oh my god, I have a problem. That was so adorable. Oh my god. Please, can you do that again? That was adorable. Please, I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, that was so adorable. Mm. And you'll fly right over. Well, I hope I don't fly over the platform. That sounds really unfortunate. Ugh, fuck. Find the spot that you're gonna take off from and conjure a powerful gust of wind from there as you jump. What if I miss? Uh, right. Dude, I'm fucked. Leanna speaks encouragingly, trying to calm my nerves. I mean, this is pretty goddamn cute. Like, Jesus Christ, that little thing she did? Oh, and she tilted her head to the side? Oh my god. My heart. Don't worry. If it doesn't work, I'll help. Uh, you better. I need- I'm- I am fucked. You don't understand. I am fucked. I'm gonna fall. I look at the next aisle. Just remember what we've practiced. You'll be fine. How high are we going? Can I go to that one? Can I just teleport myself to that one? This is like Sky Sanctuary right now. Oh my god. This music kind of even sounds like Sky Sanctuary a little bit. Not really, but a little bit. I nod and prepare for a running start. Use the wind as a springboard. Right. Oh, I can do that. I suck in a deep breath. To infin- Oh god, you dumb bitch, you can't make a Toy Story reference in here. This is not- this is not the place, this is a different world. And yonder. Poor- poor form, buddy. Poor form. Bad. You didn't- none. I mean, there are a lot of unnecessary references in here, but the, like that one just felt a little extra. That's fine. I dash ahead, forcing myself to push past my nerves and focus my mind on my manipulator. You should've just done it without- because every time you try to like call how cool you are, you have to just, you can't do that because otherwise you're fucked. You're actually fucked. You have to like just, you have to be totally nonchalant about it. It's like, wow, look, I did that shit. I'm fucking cool or something. I dash ahead, forcing myself to push past my nerve. Blah, 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 blah. My stomach drops as my feet leave the ground. Wow, I sounded impressive. At least I sounded correct. My stomach drops as my feet leave the ground, but I try to push through my fear and focus on casting. A surge of energy shoots down my arm. My gauntlet glows as the air swirls up around me, pushing me forward. I let out a startled cry as I fly through the air. I land hard on the next aisle and feel the wind escape me, but at least I made it over on my own. Can we talk about this also for a second? How are we gauging the amount of power in the wind so that it can land me exactly on the next aisle if they're only this big? Because if I misjudge it even slightly, I am fucked. That was excellent. No, it wasn't. Lena floats onto the same aisle and lands gracefully on her feet, a wide smile on her face. You were able to augment your abilities on the first try. I'm so proud of you. Wow. You're so cute. I fucking love you. Her smile is contagious and I grin back. Just like, aw. Oh. Thanks. 
You ready to keep going? No. See, this this is this date is going well. I nod now, brimming with confidence. Watch me fuck up. Let's go. As as whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Armor clanking everywhere. Calm down. As Leanna and I leap as one and Leanna and I leap and land on the next island. And the next and the next. Hold hands. This is where you hold hands and be really cute. Oh my goodness. Mainly her would be really cute, but but I guess the whole scene would be cute. Mostly her though. The first few times I jump, I float shakily in the air, but the more I cast, the easier it becomes. There are a hundred of these things, after all, and we're jumping each one individually. Please kill me. Whoa, more, more. We hop from aisle to aisle, keeping pace and making good time. Leanna catches my grin and laughs, springing ahead of me. Aw, oh, you... you play these games! I smirk, two can play that game. Can we? Can two play at that game? You're gonna, you're gonna launch yourself off the edge, buddy. You need to calm down. I push forward with another surge of magical energy and race ahead of her. It's like that, is it? Well, yeah, you started it. She wears a determined look and a roar of wind soars her overhead. Oh, she pushed her straight down. She dead. You're on! I leap after her. Early access version. Middle mini game. There's another mini game. Do well. We leap from platform to platform. This is, this is a lot of different mini games here. Apparently, there's a jumping mini game. I we leap from platform to platform. Maybe it's like a. Um, like a what's the game? I already forgot what it was called. That one game where you like kind of we're like whoa. I think I just drooled everywhere. That's fine. The one mobile game where it was like you just kind of hop, you just keep hopping. I forget what it was called. I played it when I was like 14. Um. Uh. Blah blah. blah. The whole time I ma we leave from platform to platform. The whole time I managed to keep pace with Leanna. Her sunny hair whips about with each jump. Her laughter streams across the clouds, bright and delighted. We race forward, but I can't quite seem to pass her. We finally soar and slide to a stop on the final platform, our shoes flinging up grass and dirt. I laugh. The sound, the sound breathless and spiky. Your laugh is spiky? That might be a problem, even if you are out of breath. My lungs burn and I take in gulps of air. There's probably not much up here. Now that we finally stop, I realized how much energy I've used. My muscles ripple with exhaustion. I feel like I could collapse and take a nap right here. I mean, we could always snuggle. Do you mind if we take a quick break? She nods. That's a good idea. You aren't used to such a heavy energy usage in a short amount of time. Can you snuggle with me, please? That would help me get my energy back. Please? <sighs> as comfortable and peaceful as Leanna and I sit down. It's beautiful here. Like you. What? I follow her gaze. It really is. The clouds look soft as spun sugar. They glide across the blue sky. I feel like I'm at the point where I can be like, well, you're beautiful, sweetheart. And like, actually mean it, you know? Well, I mean, I meant it the whole time, but like, and she not be, get really mad at me. Dappled sunlight. Dappled. Dabbled. <laughs> That's it. That's the last straw. I'm jumping out my window. Oh. Uh. Why do I do this? Why am I like this? Um, Dapple sunlight glints off Leanna's white armor. Her hair dances across her face as we watch the sun begin to dip low below the clouds. It's so nice here. It makes me happy. Well, I'm glad you're happy, because when you're happy, I'm happy. Except when you don't snuggle with me. I'm determined. This is gonna happen. <laughs> Here's a question from someone who's depressed all the time. Happy? The fuck is that? She nods. I don't feel so weighed down here. It's like I'm free. I mean, there's still gravity. That's kind of how that works. Isaac Newton. Well, Isaac Newton. Maybe it was like N Isaac Newton. I don't know. Oh, wait. She already said that. I blink at her, curious. Free from what? Everything. It's just. I don't know. The looming responsibility of the world weighs me down sometimes. Oh dang. She just wants to be a child again. Don't we all? A small chuckle puffs out of me. The looming responsibility of the world? Leanna blushes. I I suppose it's not the whole world. It's just there's sometimes so much expectation. From the Mage Guild, from guards and places we visit because of the sigil. Sigil. Maybe I've been pronouncing this wrong this whole time. Maybe I'm retarded. That's not a maybe. 
<laughs> I mean, I haven't really said it all that much. I always just assumed it was Sigil. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's because I pronounced Sigilith. The Pokemon? I don't know. I'm dumb. My character did play Pokemon a few fortnights ago at this point. Um, I like how all of these people have like their personal kind of demons, which is kind of exciting. Um, so hers is like responsibility and expectation. And how she has to live up to all that. Is it's just a lot of it's a lot of stress, and Kara is like family issues or something. Maybe or maybe this is part of her family issues, but like Kara had like an issue in her past where she like became not normal. I don't know, but this is cool. I like this. She hesitates for a second. And from my family. Bear, bingo. It all gets so overwhelming. I'm a genius. I like how in the span of like 30 seconds I say I'm retarded and then I say I'm a genius. This is this is how I live my life. It's fine. It doesn't matter. There's no in between. It's one or the other. It, it just alters from time to time. Most of the time I'm retarded. It's just like, it's fine. It doesn't matter. She's always so calm, collected, and upbeat. I guess it's hard to remember she's human too, and she gets, and she keeps up with us. She keeps up such a strong facade. She doesn't talk about her family much, and from the way she's hes she hesitated when mentioning them just now, I gather the relationship may be strained. Ha! <laughs> Good one, buddy! You're s you're like an uh, observational expert. Uh, deductive reasoning, inferencing. Fantastic. Expectations from your family? She pauses and hugs her knees close to her chest. You know, you could always hug me. You could always snuggle. Please. 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 Well, in this world, a lot of women my age are already married and have children. It's something my family has always wanted for me. Those things, they aren't bad, but it's not something I want to think about right now. Well, if you are in search of a potential candidate for copulation and marriage, I may be of service. Hmm. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, that was something. I want to explore and see everything. I want to be free. Girl, you do that. I nod, understanding. I am a university student, after all. Of course I understand. It must have been tough to constantly have those expectations on your shoulders. Leanna smiles, but it doesn't reach her eyes. She shrugs. Yeah. I love my family, but we definitely have different views on things. Dang. I nod. Yeah, of course. There's a pause. Ever since I joined the Mage Guild, I feel like I can finally breathe. Mm. I can look to the horizon and know that I can just go there. Kind of. Not really, but... Yeah. You can always go that direction, but you can't, like, actually just go there. You can just, like, go that general direction. It's, like, representative. I wrote a song about it. One time. And okay, so not really. It's kind of mm, eh. check out my album. I wrote an album. It's pretty cool. At least I think so. Um, although I guess I'm a little biased. Blah blah blah. Go there. That's hardcore, sweetheart. That's that's you have some troubled things. You live a sad life. I love you. I just want you to know that. Even if we, even if you don't want to get married right now, I just want you to know that I love you. There's another pause. But all this doesn't matter. I know I'll have to leave the guild one day and fulfill the expectations others have for me. Why even bother doing any of this if it's also fleeting? Wow. This has got deep. Hardcore. This is getting into depression topics right now. This is good. Sometimes it's better not to think about what's to come. It's better just to enjoy the moment for how it is. It's like she's never thought about this before. Leanna blinks. Enjoy the moment. Wow. You really haven't thought of this, about this before, have you? Do you have a brain? Sorry. I love you. <laughs> I grin and nod. Yeah, just appreciate things for how they are right now. Leanna you know, looks a little confused, but interested. The experiences you have, the memories you make, those are not fleeting. They stay with you forever. They make you who you are as a person. 
If you get so wrapped up in how you're supposed to live, you forget to actually live. I... I never really thought about it like that. Well, that's why I'm here, so you can think about it like that. And also for you to snuggle with me! I nod reassuringly. Like, today, you're free and able to travel, right? We've been hopping around from in the air and it's been fun. And I don't know about you, but when I'm soaring through the clouds, I can't think of anything except how amazing that moment feels. That's how you should live every space day. Leanna tilts her head, intrigued. That's an interesting way to view things. But what about the responsibilities? Well, you see, I'm actually not in my world right now, so I have none. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's a balance. Let's 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 not go that. Yeah, I do. I have to go get good grades at school, or else I won't graduate. And I have to respect and honor my parents. And I also have, but I also have to respect my own dreams for life. Uh, I try to take each step one day at a time. Fuck, each day one step at a time. It's good to respect your obligations, but try to push forward with what you want for your life. This is teaching me a lesson right now. Um, this is hardcore. Leona looks like she's processing what I said. Oh, I see. Wow, you're not terribly impressed. Apparently my life lecture wasn't very good. You're not very impacted by it. Besides, no one knows what life will throw your way. Give me, for example, mysterious, handsome stranger. What? If someone told me a month ago I'd be in another world talking to a mage knight on a floating isle high in the sky, I'd think they were crazy. That doesn't even sound remotely plausible. She chuckles. Yet, here we are. There's just stuff you can't plan for. And those unexpected things that life throws your way sometimes end up being better than anything you could have planned for. Wow, that was smooth. Well done, buddy. Her signature smile finally re Well done, that was good shit. Her signature smile finally returns. A flock of birds suddenly shoot up into the sky. The movement tosses back our hair, and we watch them fly by in silence. Our collective hair. We share hair, actually. So, do you have anyone to go back to? None. No one. I have a sister? Ooh. What, like a girlfriend? Yeah, cheeks red, and she nods. What are these things? Well, we're not gonna pick the one that says lie. What does this mean? I don't know what these things mean. What is backstory? So, so I can pick one. I can... So I can pick one and kind of change the way she looks at me. At least she did ask if I had a, a, a girlfriend, which is which is a good start. She's she's curious if I have a girlfriend. Fantastic. Um So I can say I've never had one, which I think is probably the right option considering she's also probably never had a boyfriend if I had to guess. Um So basically, I can so I can create my own backstory. I think is what it's saying, and then I can, and either lie or tell the truth about it. So I can pick one of these four options. So these three are truths. Would they would be true, but then this one is actually lying. Uh, I think I want to save. Come on, go back there though. Save another one. <laughs> um, let's try. I've never had one. I've never had a girlfriend. Leanna's eyes widen a little. R really? She blushes. I can't tell if she admires that I've never been any with anyone or if she's just shocked. I smile. Yeah, I've never wanted to date just for the sake of dating. Call me crazy, but I think when you meet that special someone, you'll just know. Leanna smiles as her blush deepens. What about you? Lena looks away as she blushes. I've never been with anyone. Bingo. Nailed it. Seriously? I find it hard to believe that someone had, like you hasn't been in a relationship. Someone like me? Charming, smart, hardworking, patient, beautiful. Need I go on? Well done, buddy. Well done. Good shit. Well done. That was awesome. 
Leanna's blush deepens. You're seriously exaggerating, <laughs> but thanks. No, these are all. Those are all true. Those are I. I those are all absolutely true. She clears her throat and scrambles to her feet before I can ask any more questions. See, I nailed it. Good shit. Aw, oh, yeah. You ready to go? Well, I guess we can change ourselves right now if you want. Just snuggle with me, please? You don't even have to kiss. I just want to snuggle with you, please. <gasps> I mean, I when, 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> I nod. My heart's still pounding. I stand to clear my thoughts. Yeah. Let's roll. Let's better that. Good thing he didn't say let's do it, or mm, could have been taken a different way. We bounce across even more platforms. It takes a lot more work to soar to them than before, partially because they're further and further apart, and partially because I'm already weary from all of the air hopping we did earlier. Hey, sorry we're late, by the way, friends on the ground, because um, we just had an in-depth conversation about whether or not we had girlfriends or boyfriends or not. Also, I like how she's had to specify anyone, gender neutral. Maybe she's actually a lesbian. Um, what a twist that would be. <laughs> the sky is painted pink and purple by the time we reach the highest floating aisle. We step onto the island and look around. The flowers shimmy. Okay. In the breeze and, is f and in the far corner is the familiar site of a temple ruin. I don't see it. This must be it. Where's my temple ruin? I don't see it. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? I hear a low groaning sound. What was that? This must be the entrance. I follow her gaze to a large open archway. I don't see it. It's too dark for me to tell what's inside. A freezing, moaning wind spirals out and rustles the grass and flowers outside. I shiver, but try to shake off the cold. I'll go ahead. I walk towards the entrance and the wind howls. It roars and tumbles out of the door, pushing me away. I grunt and try to f fight my way through, but I'm unsuccessful. It looks like there's a strong gust of wind here to keep people from entering. Let's try springing ourselves forward. What the fuck? No. I don't think that's gonna work either. It's a, another trial or something. But I know. Both Leanna and I take our place with a running start. We use wind to augment our speed and try to push through. Even though Leanna makes it ahead of me, the wind is too strong, and we have, we're both eventually pushed out. Damn. Here, take my hand. God bless. What? No, 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 no. Don't be fucking nervous about it. You just take your goddamn hand. You fucking accept it. I'll slingshot you in. What? You're gonna throw me in? Right on. I'm in. Ooh. Mm. Not, not a good thing to say when alone. Mm. I'm in. Mm. <laughs> I just make noises half the time. <laughs> oh. If this is where the elemental will be, maybe absorbing the energy will lower this barrier, and I can follow after. I like how he was like, oh. You know, slingshot me in. Darn. I nod and take her hand. One, two, three. She's gonna throw me in there. We both dash forward, channeling our energy to push as deep as we can. At the point of overpowerment, Leanna rotates and throws me, slingshotting me forward. Unless you do like a little spin, spin move. I fly through the gust and tumble into the temple. Looking back, I can't see past the dark, see her past the darkness. At least that worked. Hey, look. I know where this is. I end up in a room filled with crumbling stone and rusted relics. Surprisingly, I stand alone in this room. Where is the elemental? She was always waiting for me in the last two temples. Am I supposed to summon her somehow? I take a look around the room. More items are scattered about, but I don't spot anything that looks obviously magical. I don't know how to do scans like Leanna and Amy, and the Pongo isn't here to gravitate towards anything with energy. Fuck. What should I do? Whoa, hey now. You're an all-star. Um... I can't step- I step further in and then pause- wait, fuck. When a pair of inverted eyes appear from the top of my vision with a sharp- oh, in- okay. Upside down eye, I get it. With a sharp yelp, I fall back. Whoa now. Aw. She's actually kind of cute and not overly sexualized. This is amazing. A young lady giggles as she floats over. I think that's the air elemental. Instead of imparting with me with her power, she merely watches me. You spooked me! Uh, can you communicate? I pull myself off the ground. She beams as she watches me. Hello? She doesn't react. Can you talk? She blinks at me and tilts her head. I don't think this is working. Maybe she doesn't speak English. What should I do? I bring my hand up to my chin to think. The elemental blinks and does the same, resting her chin in her hand. Whoa, wait, are you copying me? I slowly wave a hand. After, she second, after a second, she smiles and does the same. You are, aren't you? 
I tap the top of my head. She giggles and does the same. She seems pretty playful. I make a pointer with my hands and slowly reach towards her. She floats closer and does the same with her hand. Our hands move closer until our fingertips touch. The sensation is something I've never felt before. Although my finger doesn't fall through her like an illusion, I don't feel physical contact either. Through my, fing through my fingertip, I feel a tension of calm, ethereal energy, almost like she's testing me. She smirks and suddenly a gale storm erupts in the room. It circles around me, whipping my hair into my eyes, but I, steadily s I stay steady on my feet. After the wind envelops me, it begins to channel into my body. I feel the, the rush of energy coursing through me. It makes me feel weightless, as if lifting the burdens of gravity from my body. The stronger and more rejuvenated I feel, the more el the elemental begins to fade. Before she disappears, she grins and raises her hand to wave. Thank you! The last thing I see is her beaming smile as I absorb the last bit of energy and she disappears. That was a surreal experience. I start making my way back through the tunnel. Hey! I see Leanna jog over. The wind outside disappeared, so I came in here as fast as I could. Did something happen? Nope. Yeah, I found the air elemental. Leanna brings up her manipulator and does a scan. It seems like you absorbed the energy in here as well. I nod. Yep, she transferred the energy like the other elementals, but the experience was a bit different. Different? She was curious about me. Instead of waiting for me in the room to transfer the energy immediately, she started copying my movements, almost like she was playing with me. It was pretty cool. Leanna blinks. Are you telling me you played a mind game with one of the ancients? Is there a problem? Uh, I suppose so. Leanna looks amused. I'm sure Amy will want to know the details of what happened. To be honest, I'm pretty curious myself. I raised a hand, and she raised a hand. It's really not that complicated. We played a that's basically what you said. Not really impressive. But we've been gone a while now. And now that we've gotten what we came for, we should head back. <sighs> Only natural that I like the air element elemental the best. She's really cute. I like her. Agreed, but first let's grab a few things. Oh, right. You did promise Kara. I did. We search around the room and decide on a few interesting trinkets and coins to pack up. Once we're all set, we exit the temple. Dude, we gotta fucking jump. We both pause outside once we see the dazzling sky. It's ablaze with streaks of violet and gold. I like the clouds are moving, that's whack. Even the puffs of clouds are pa passing by are painted lavender or orange, adding to the portrait in the sky. The colors seem more vibrant so high up here and the view takes my breath away. Why? Is it because you're so high up and you don't have any air? Idiot. I thought the view was beautiful <laughs> before, but this is a wonder. How <laughs> he was like, it takes my breath away. I'm like, why? You don't fucking have any air, you dumb bitch. <laughs> That's what I do. We take in the scenery. This is what I meant earlier. Things like this create a memory that lasts a lifetime. I agree. No, you don't. You don't. You didn't even fucking. You haven't even processed what I said. My lecture is still in your brain, trying to find out its, figure out its way in your, in your, in your soul. It's fine. We get a jump? Let's jump. Take my hand and we get a jump. I got a parachute. I don't have a parachute, but I got wind. Golden rays shine brightly in the sky as the sun travels beneath the clouds like one last hurrah from the sun before it sets. Poor sun. He's... He doesn't got much life in him <laughs> left in him. I don't know how long we stand here before I break the silence. Knock, knock. We should head back. I turned to walk backwards where we came, but I met with solid resistance. Huh? I try to walk forward again, but I'm pushed back in place by a stiff wind. It's as, it's as if I'm entering the temple again. I stumble and try again, but the wind pushes me back. Hey, Vienna, where did this... I turn around, the world's catching my throat. Uh-oh. Wait, what? What does this mean? Oh, fuck. I turn around, and the words catch in my throat. Her gauntlet goes a pale blue, and her face is bright red. I look at her in confusion. Liana? The wind hooks around my back. Oh my god, she's doing some- Oh my god, this is adorable. I like- and There's a new song. I've never heard this song, so this is a good sign. Something's gonna happen. The wind hooks around my back and guides me gently towards her. Her cheeks brighten as the glow on her manipulator fades. What's going on? I- I want to live in the moment. Good shit. I love you. She steps closer to me. Well, I don't really think I want to say this is a misunderstanding. Lena stares up at me with her bright cerulean eyes. My face burns as my heart rate quickens. She's so close to me, I can smell the intoxicating perfume of her hair, and I feel lightheaded like I'm under her spell. I don't know why I did that, but it's fine. 
The radiant sunset fades from view as I gaze at Leanna. The fading sunlight illuminates her hair like a halo, and I reach out a hand to touch a strand behind her ear. She smiles softly at my touch, then looks imploringly at me as she bites her lip. Her sudden confidence melts, and I see a hopeful vulnerability in her gaze. Wow, this is... Whoa. Whoa. Well, one option. Oh, wow. I guess he is a little bit different. He looks... I think my last character was blonde, right? Yeah. I wrap my arms around her back and pull her into me. She lets out a soft breath of surprise as her hands rest on my chest. Look at his fucking arms, dude. They're not as... Maybe they're not... He still hits the gym, though. Look at them bangs, though. Straight down. Good shit. I trace the outline of her cheek with my thumb. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. Never mind. No, sorry. That's a normal thing. Her hair... Her face turns red as I can feel the heat of her, her blush, but she doesn't pull away. Instead, she leans into my touch. Aw. That's fucking adorable. Gently, I begin to close the space between her lips. She tilts her head and towards me and let her lips part. I can feel her breath, and I, I pause just as our noses touch. This is so detailed. This is whack. Her breath catches as the electricity of our touch. The air feels thick and charged with energy as we hover so delicately in limbo. Her hands trace down my chest as her breathing becomes shallow. She anticipates the meeting of our lips. I feel the fire of her fingers as they trail down my chest. For someone who hasn't had a girlfriend before, you're very experienced. Maybe. Maybe you just watch a lot of movies. Slowly, her eyes close. Wow. Secret option! Run away! Jump! <laughs> Ruin the moment. Closing my eyes, I close the gap between us until our lips meet. Aww. I kind of zoomed out. And she's on her tiptoes. And she's got it. This, this chick, this bitch walks around in heels all the time. No, she's not a bitch. She's, she's a chick. She's this, this girl walks around in heels all the time. Things look like they got wings on them. This is fucking... Just look at her. Look at my wife. Oh my god. In that moment, this, with the sweet taste of her on my... Wow. Ugh. With the sweet taste of her on my lips, I'm not thinking about of home. I'm not thinking about how or why I arrived here. I'm not thinking about my past, about how someday all of this might be torn away. I stop thinking about anything at all. Only... Well, that's anything at all, you dumb bitch. Breathlessly, we pull back and look at each other. She smiles, and it's more beautiful than the sky above. There's no doubt about it. I'm crazy for this girl. Well done, buddy. Well done. Also, can we, like, talk about, like, his hands? Like, they're kind of awkwardly placed, but, like, I don't know if he, he knows what he's doing. Probably not. But it's fine. What did I do? I hit the button. Wait, fuck. I just realized something. What is that? Leanna blinks. Well done! Crack a joke there, friend! Well- Oh, that's good shit. Well done. Oh my god, that's amazing. This means your Hey There Sailor line has a 100% success rate. Leanna hits my chest playfully. Really? Are you trying to ruin the I mood? cracked a joke, honey. Should've liked it. Sorry, should we go back to kissing? Just stop talking. Aw. She tugs me and kisses me- She tugs me close and kisses me again. Wow. Hardcore. Not really. <laughs> there was a joke there, and I refuse to make it. Just kidding, I don't refuse to make it. <gasps> Something's pretty hard! <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway, that was Anyway, I just want to talk about how amazing Leanna is for a little bit. Like, just that scene. That was so good. Just like, okay. So he's trying to leave, right? And he doesn't think of any, anything of it. Like, she's so adorable. Oh, my God. Like, 
so he's backed up by the wind. She uses the wind magic to pull him all the way there. And they kind of have, like, their fate. They touch noses or something. And, like, they kiss. And then afterward, like, she's never been with anyone, right? So she's, like, new to this stuff. And she's, like... And then he cracks a joke, right? And he's, like... And then they just kiss again. This is fantastic. Fantastic. I love her. She's amazing. The world disappears as we share each other's embrace. Once the sun dips low and the sky begins to turn indigo, we reluctantly part. Hand in hand, big and big goofy smiles on our faces, we begin to head back and reconvene with the rest of our group. How long were you there, friend? Friends? Quite a long time, apparently. The journey back is significantly easier as we are jumping to lower platforms rather than higher. Wow. Excellent. You know about gravity. Well done. We make good time just traveling back. Even still, we would periodically stop just to take in the view again and or kiss. Maybe. Make out. Who knows. This is definitely a sight I will never forget. 